uh, it's Dapper. Today I want to show you my uh, lot on water fuel cell with a little, very little modification. Uh, for uh, my power supply I use a laptop charger. Um, it gives me maximum power uh, 19 volts, 3.5 amps, but I'm not using so much power maximum to 2.2 amps next is my uh, Dave Lawton circuit with Ravi modification um, if, you, if you want to see uh, the layout uh, how it's functioning you can see my previous videos after Lawton circuit uh, I got a bunch of diodes just like in the uh, Myers uh, it's uh, ultra fast diodes, it's 8 diodes, 1 amp each, 1000 volts, parallel, uh, UF uh, 4007, um, that goes at one side uh, to my next uh, bifilar choke, uh, I didn't uh, make it at the ferrite road, I used uh, uh, E-core, uh, two halves, EC52, uh, about uh, 2000 permeability. Uh, I uh, separated uh, these two halves by very by thin uh, layer of uh, tape, this side and this side. So uh, at the points where the two halves are uh, meeting, are connecting, <clears throat> this is a bifilar choke, uh, 0 0.75 millimeter. It should be one millimeter, but I don't have such a thick uh, wire. It's about um, 60 turns. Uh, Myers did uh, with uh, 18 gauge wire, uh, 48 turns. So it was not. Uh, so I got a uh, little bit more uh, resistance than Myers and uh, here we do have uh, my uh, water fuel cell in uh, uh, filter housing uh, chamber mm. and uh, what I've did it's uh, the Vlotons make made uh, six tubes I made seven uh, the more I think the better uh, I uh, grab them with uh, stainless steel uh, uh, stainless steel uh, belts as you can see here um, for uh, preventing the current leakage uh, each tube outside tube is grabbed with uh, uh, isolation tape as you can see this is the red one and the inside tube the inside of the inside tube were uh, isolated with uh, isolation tape uh, green one as you can see uh, <clears throat> of course um, I didn't isolate the uh, didn't isolate the uh, stainless steel uh, belts um, so uh, these are um, outside tube is 20 millimeters, inside is uh, 40 millimeters. Uh, each tube is 1.5 millimeter thick. Uh, the uh, gap is 1.5 millimeters. Um, it's very cheap uh, steel, acid proof. Uh, I'm not uh, convinced. Is it uh, stainless steel? For sure, it's, it's not uh, 304 steel, stainless steel. Um, it's seamed pipes, so uh, they are a little bit magnetized. <clears throat> you can uh, check it with uh, a magnet. Uh, the magnet holds the pipe, so it's magnetized. Uh, it's very cheap stainless steel. Uh, I gave for uh, one meter of two pipes uh, about uh, 15 
15 dollars, 15, 20 dollars about. Um, uh, for it, the, the, the pipes were conditioned about four or five days uh, with various uh, with ver various uh, amps. Mm, Ravi says uh, that uh, if you're conditioning the pipes, you shouldn't use any resistance. Mm, I uh, put uh, the bifilar choke only for the uh, film. Uh, during conditioning, I'm not using it. Uh, I only make uh, this uh, bifilar choke for some tests. Uh, to see the results or the frequency um, uh, for conditioning uh, I'm using only uh, oscillator side uh, without gating uh, and uh, I will uh, I want to improve that circuit uh, by giving uh, thicker wire uh, by giving SCR optocoupler to isolate a lot on circuit uh, from the uh, power source and uh, uh, that's for now uh, and here after the outside tube I put uh, some needle with small hole for uh, easier uh, bubble coming from the water tank and I think it's all for now thanks for watching uh...